Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on Different Denominators Part 2 Worksheets. So this video presents a few slides and they are in the form of worksheets and they will give us practice in adding and subtracting fractions with different denominators. So what we're asked to do here is solve each of the following and give the answer in simplest form where possible. Also, change any improper fractions to mixed numbers or mixed fractions. So, if you need a refresher course on this, at the end of this particular video, on the last slide, there will be a link taking you to the lesson on this topic and it will explain the basic principles involved. Very quickly, if you are to add two fractions together and you notice that the denominators are different, well, we have to go through a procedure to transform these two fractions. We have to find equivalent fractions for each so that the denominators are the same. So really quickly, the denominator here will be 12 because it will be the lowest number that 3 and 4 will divide into. So 12 is the lowest number that 3 and 4 will divide into, so that's the common denominator. So that's a little hint I'll give you. As I say, the link at the end of this video will take you to the lesson if you need help. You can also have three fractions, a combination of addition and subtraction. We have 9, 5 and 3. We need to find the denominator that 9, 5 and 3 will divide into evenly and find the lowest, the lowest number that they will divide into. If you do that it makes the working a lot easier and that will be the common denominator. So let's look at the next slide. You can see these are a little more involved. There are extra fractions so we have a maximum of four fractions basically on this, on this slide here but the principles are the same. Here's an interesting one, 4, 3, 5 and 2. We must find the smallest number, that is the lowest common multiple, which is the smallest number that each of these numbers will divide into. Once you do that, that will be the common denominator. That's the denominator we use. Then we write all those fractions down using that particular denominator and then we just work with the numerators. Take into account the sign. Okay, don't forget what the sign is and you either add or subtract the numerators depending on the sign. When you get the final fraction you simplify it or if it's an improper fraction just change it to a mixed number or a mixed fraction. So basically this video has introduced just a few worksheets to give us practice in adding and subtracting fractions with different denominators. The trick is to make the denominators the same by using the, the basic principle of the lowest common multiple with respect to the denominators and that will give us the common denominator.